Sup Minecrafters, another beautiful morning on the test world here. Got Sir Rob Fi. It's about to show you some Minecraft science. Now, there's a lot of misconceptions about mob spawners in the community, I've noticed lately, and I wanted to do a little bit of an experiment just to show how mob spawners work and my understanding of it. This information I got, not only from observation, it came from the wiki, and as often as the wiki can be wrong, inaccurate, etc., sometimes it's, it's right, and this time it's dead right. So, this is what we're looking at from above. The spawner is not in the center of this. This is an eight by eight square there, and it's three high. Now, as I mentioned in my last video, you want to orientate yourself now in the right direction. So if you hit F3, the quickest and easiest way to do this is to look at your coordinates. And if you are facing direction 3, you've got X, Y, Z, and F. And F is the direction you're facing. 3 is the east as you just saw the sun rising over there and the spawner if we look at it from this direction all of the spawning is based on that bottom left corner of the spawner down there so from that point you can count out one two three four blocks in that direction again from that point you would go one, two, three, four. And this time you'll see I'm including the block that the spawner's occupying when I'm counting out. So that's because I'm working from this infinitesimal point in the bottom left corner of the spawner. So if I'm going to the right, I've also got to include that block, one, two, three, and four. When I'm going this direction, I don't need to include the spawner because I'm going from that point again. It's one, two, three, four. And that is the eight by eight area. And the height is level with the spawner, one block above and one block below. Now, while I've been talking to you, my settings have been on hard. So if a mob could spawn right now, it would have. So let's see, if I knock out this space, can a mob spawn? Well, not a blaze, because blazes need a too high space. They need a spawnable space and an air block above. So I have to knock out this block too. Now that I've done that, the, uh, every time this spawner pulses and it searches for somewhere to spawn a mob, it will eventually find that this space is available and hopefully any moment now a blaze will spawn in that spot and look at that right on time beautiful so i hope that part was pretty plainly stated and i proved my point there i think i'm going to shut that off again for now the second part of the calculations going on is whether this particular spawner has too many mobs in the area and the area it looks for in this case is 17 by 17 by 9 so what we're looking at in this case is from the spawner oh, let's close that up sorry um, we got one well, forget that one. We're going out from the spawner. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the same on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we've got eight and eight plus the block above the spawner makes 17. And that translates off to this side as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so let's do 
do this one, two, three, four, right? Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this gives us, if we extend it out, a full 17 by 17 area. Okay? Now, if I could be bothered to fill this all out, it's a pretty big area. But the nice thing about it is that if you go up or down, it's a nine height area. So we're talking, there's the spawner, one block above it, two blocks above it, three and four. We go under the spawner, you've got one block below it, two, three and four. So that is the height we're looking at. You now you can extend, extend this out so we can see the kind of dimensions we're looking at here. And there you have it. So there you go. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, high, right? So, if you imagine wherever these leaves are, if that was a full block all filled in, you don't want a mob anywhere within that space. Well, you don't want more than six mobs anywhere in that space. But ideally, you would want to get all of the mobs that are spawning out of that space as quickly as possible. Now, if they're on a surface here, as you may have observed yourself many times, mobs like to bounce around in space, like this. So, I'm not 100% sure about this, but if they're jumping into that space, technically occupying the lower block that they're jumping into at the moment that the calculation is made, that could be affecting spawn rates. So for safety's sake, in the case of a too high mob, you would want to be down at this level so that even if they jump, they don't reach into the space that it's checking. All right, so you want to be able to drop down that far. And that's basically what I based my Blaze Spawner farm, XP farm off of that I wanted to drop them and then collect them into one point, soften them up with a crusher and then be able to either punch them or using a nuke potion of harm, blow them up. So that's the physics behind it. Um, I could go further and drop mobs into the area so that there are six mobs or more inside this area that it scans. But I think there isn't really any disagreement on that. People accept that and, and know about that. The only thing that there is confusion on is the spawnable area to begin with, which is the eight by eight by three high. So there you have it. I will leave it there. I hope this has been helpful. If you didn't know this before, this may help you in designing your mob trap, whether it be for blazes or spiders or skeletons, whatever. It's all it all applies. It's all the same. And uh, just to show you there again at the end, as soon as I removed some blocks, they were free to spawn. All right. So Rob Fi signing off, see you later.